Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, you're at the 80 Believer channel. If you haven't been here before, uh, have you got here? I appreciate you coming here. I'm going to share a few scriptures, just a few, and uh, and a special song that will come to me in a special way because it came to me in a dream. And what was really super special about it, the cherry on it, was my grandson was in it and he's been deceased since 2006 and he was 22 years old when he had an accident in his company truck and and passed away and so when this dream came it was really special but i'll i'll share it with you and hope you enjoy it i've kind of been requested to do this one so i thought this would be a good one to do today uh, it's about friends uh, that God wants to be our friend and which that alone that revelation of really coming to you is a wonderful thing in itself just realizing you have a friend that stick us closer than a brother and it's a wonderful thing uh, I looked up the word friend and it said a person attached to another by feeling of affection or personal regard me I call it a close confidant and it says a close friend or associate to whom secrets are confided or with whom private matters and problems are discussed now isn't that wonderful to have a friend that you can discuss private things with and I'm not going to go out and repeat it and he also can give you good advice on anything you're telling him uh, but Jesus says in John 15, 15, he says, Henceforth I call you not servants, for that servant for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. And in James 2, 23, it says, And the scripture was fulfilled which saith, Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. Isn't that wonderful? And God did disclose things with him. He gave him prophetic sayings. He revealed the future to him in a way. Told him he was going to be a great nation and a father of a multitude. And, and, and he granted and he had faith. And we are sons of Abraham if we have that faith. And sons and daughters of Abraham. In, in the church, there's neither male nor female, but in the spirit world, we're just uh, the children of God. And it's a wonderful thing to be a close confidant of God. Uh, and you know, the great thing about it, when we're friends and he tells us things, he doesn't, he doesn't share them with the world. It says the world, the world couldn't receive the Holy Ghost. It took the church, he was giving it to a special people the church that he dumped his spirit out on not dumped it but i mean it come like a, a rushing mighty wind and he gave it to his his children his friends his confidants thank you lord i'm so glad to be a part of that to to know that he has given me his spirit and he now lives in my heart and and it's a revelation a re revealing spirit that reveals you things of future re guides your steps it's just mighty to be in part of that confidant with Jesus uh, in James 4 talking about the world the world can't receive it receive those things and he's not friends with the world and he tells us not to be real close confidants with friends in the church in the world he says in James 4 4 he says you adulterers and adulteresses know ye not that the friendship of the world is an enmity with God whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God and the world in, in the strong says the ungod, ungodly multitude, the whole mass of men alienated from God and therefore host, hostile to the cause of Christ. And the world, the whole circle of earthly goods, endowments, riches, advantages, pleasures, and so on, which although hollow and frail and fleeting, stir desire, seduce from God, and our obstacles to the cause of Christ. That is a definition of the world. And 
the Lord says, come out from among them and be ye separate. Not that you, you're not, you're better than them or anything, but you don't, you know, it's just that bad manners corrupt. So you want to choose your friends and your really friends very wisely. And I'm so glad God calls me friend. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we're talking about an ungodly system when we talk about the world, an ungodly system and those who perpetrate it. So uh, being a friend is a special thing. And I, I needed to hear this more than, in more than one way. But anyway, I'll get to my song. I was asleep in a deep sleep and this dream came to me. And in it, my grandson was there. And he was standing there and he was singing, Jesus loves me. And I thought, and it was so pretty. And he was just singing it like it was a, a masterpiece or something. And I thought, that is gorgeous. And I remember my brother-in-law, Alvy, was standing there. And I said, Alvy, come and listen to this. Hear him singing? I said, we can harmonize with him and sing that. I said, let's do it. I said, Corey, sing it again, sing it again. And he started singing, and we started trying to get And I don't know if he got off in the other in a key that we couldn't get or what, but it just didn't work out. We couldn't sing with him. So I don't know how dreams jump around and you don't get the whole gesture. But the next, the next thing I remember, Corey was standing off by himself and he opened up and started singing. <laughs> and it was beautiful. I mean, it was like a, I didn't just hear Corey. And I didn't know, I, didn't, I told Corey in the dream, I didn't know you could sing like this which I've never heard Corey sing like that. I never heard him sing, but in this dream, when he opened his mouth to sing, and I wasn't just hearing Corey, I was hearing a quartet. I was hearing four-part harmony singing. And, and I heard a song I have never heard before. And it was just beautiful. It was so real. And I was just in awe listening to that. And, and, and there was a message in it. Well, I woke up. And I was laying out, oh, I realized I'd had a dream, and I thought, oh, God, thank you. The most thing I was thankful for is I got to see my grandson again. I really felt like I had been right there with him. I said, I got to see him again. Thank you. Excuse me. I don't want to get into this too deep like that. But anyway, I was so thankful, and then I remembered that song, and I thought, something nudged me and says, you won't remember that in the morning. So I got up grabbed my phone beside me and opened up my recorder and I sang that song. And I wouldn't shout it with anybody because it's terrible. <laughs> it was my not woke up voice. It was awful. But anyway, I, I recorded the words and I recorded the tune. And I'm going to try to sing that to you today, what I heard. And it's a wonderful thing that God would come to us and give us dreams. And I really do feel like God let me see my son, grandson again just for a little bit and it was I felt the love and it was a wonderful thing and I'm still thankful for him to, to God for that that particular dream I've had others and I know they're from God but this one is special and I'm going to share it with you the song I got is God wants to walk and talk with you and be your friend I'm going to try to sing it <laughs> God wants to walk with you. God wants to talk with you. God wants to walk and talk with you and be your friend. God wants to walk with you. God wants to talk with you. God wants to walk and talk with you and be your friend. God wants to walk with you. God wants to talk with you. God wants to walk and talk with you and be your friend. God wants to walk with you. Having been there, I declare, God wants to walk and talk with you and be your friend. And that's all I heard, but the one thing that got me is I lay in there thinking about that. What does he mean? Having been there, I declare. And it was like, he was, it was kind of a revelation or something, or like a confirmation, I should say, that my grandson has been to heaven. He is with God, and I feel like God is revealing to me that grands, my grandson is there, and 
he gave me a message. He's like, I'm sending him back with a personal message for you. Anybody knows they've experienced God's Spirit in, in that is a special way. That's why we walk with Him. That's why we talk with Him. That's why we follow after Him and we become believers and we're Christians because we know He is a revealer of secrets. Like the woman at the well, he told her all things she'd ever done. That's why she believed him. She said, come and see this man that, that told me everything ever I did. And God can do that, and he will do it. And I thank him for those special times, those special dreams, those tunes, and, and for the revelations he gives to each of his children in the church. And I hope you enjoyed this song, and forgive me for breaking up. <laughs> it's as special to me. But I just want to thank you again for coming to my video and and watching me, maybe to the whole end, I hope. And give me a thumbs up if you would. Pushing that like button really helps. And share it with your friends. Share it with somebody that needs to know that God's a personal God that gets involved with your life and will give you directions either through another voice or through your own thinking, your mind, your spirit, what He, he reveals to you, or He can come to you in a dream. I, he promised that. He said in the last days he would give dreams and vision. And I thank him for it. So share this video and, and subscribe if you haven't. And thank you again. And if you want to comment and leave a message, I'd appreciate it. I love to read them. And uh, prayer requests, I'll try to get right on them because I, I can pray and lift up your name. I know God is pulling these people together to do exploits and do mighty things in these last days and we've got to be connected we've got to stay connected with one another and I love to hear other people's testimony it encourages me I get direction and God's just a beautiful thing it's a wonderful thing to be a Christian so thank you for watching Aid and Believer I'm going to call it that I'm going to put an end to it uh, oh, one thing I wanted to show you I said I was going to talk more a little bit about crafts too I, I just wanted to say I made this little thing behind us. It's his vintage home. It's out of bottles, old medicine jars and syrup bottles and things that uh, I didn't get a video of me making it, but I wanted to show it. And for those crafters out there, get them old bottles and do something special with them. Decorate your house and uh, don't cost a fortune, but. Uh, I guess I'll end it there with that little craft and my little dream and my little song. Thank you again for watching. You have a wonderful day. And try to catch you with my next video, Lord willing. Bye-bye.